Thank you for watching my video regarding the vendor running balance. Running balance means a continuous balance. It means the report or the Excel sheet will show the balance of the vendor at any given moment in time. As you remember, this video is a workaround and it goes con in conjunction with the pay from prepaid method. There are three simple steps to getting the vendor's running balance if you're using the prepaid or pay from prepaid method. Number one, export to Excel. Well, we know that only takes two seconds. The second step is easy if you simply follow it step by step. You have to put in an if function, a very simple if function. If you are familiar with Excel and familiar with this function, this will be very easy and it will not take long. If you're not familiar with Excel, just follow the video step by step and it will work for you. And then, of course, the very last step is to put in a very simple elementary school level math formula. Let's take a look at how to do this. Now, here we are in the transaction list by vendor. And the most important part is the section of Max Produce Corp. Here are the two transactions that we recorded when we paid Max in advance for inventory here on June 15th. This is the way it looks. And when we physically received some of the merchandise, that's the way it looks. Now we're going to do three simple clicks to export this to Excel. Click Excel, create new worksheet, then just click export and now you can see your transaction list by vendor is exported to Excel. Here we are in the Excel spreadsheet. Now, you don't have to do this next thing that I'm about to do. I'm about to make it look more clear for the video. So what I'm now doing is not the official, is not part of the official steps to get the running balance. It's just harder for you to see it on the video with the numbers so small and many blank columns. So if you want, you can pause the video and do this. Right click on every column heading that's blank and click delete. For example, column B is blank. I'm going to right click on the column heading and click delete. I'm going to keep doing that until all of the blank columns are gone. And I'm also going to click View, Zoom, and I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see things a little bit better. So now I'm going to open up the sheet that I have already prepared for this particular video, which is already zoomed in and already has all of the uh, blank columns deleted. So when you're done, it'll look like this. Now we haven't done anything. All we did was adjust the way we are looking at it. And again, if you need to pause the video for a moment and do it, you can, so that it will look like this. Now, normally, the buying of inventory would be a positive number, meaning the vendor owes us more, and the uh, receiving of inventory would be shown as a negative number. If that were the case, then we could just type in a simple math formula in the column next to it, and we would get the running balance. However, we have to do something else first, because as you notice, the money amount and the money amount column are all listed as positive numbers, even though from the point of view of someone who's trying to get the running balance, we all know that when we receive the inventory, that's actually a negative number. Or you could consider receiving the inventory a positive number and prepaying for inventory a negative number. It all depends on how you would like to report it and how you see it. But unfortunately, having only two numbers here does not really illustrate the point. So I'm going to open up another spreadsheet, which is exactly the same as this section, except 
it has a few more transactions so that the point will be illustrated more clearly. Now in this example I took the exact same thing. I took the exact same information and I just uh, copied down a few extra transactions but this is the way it would look. If we had all these exact transactions with Max Produce Corp we could say on the 15th we prepaid then on the 16th we received some then on the 18th we prepaid for even more and then on the 20th we received some of that etc so here we have all of the transactions for the vendor that we prepaid and they're all listed and it's clear which ones are prepayments and which ones are actually item receipts but we want the running balance and now again if the item receipts were listed as negative the way they're supposed to be listed as negative or the other way around if the prepayments were listed as negative we could type in a simple math formula here copy it down and then we would know the balance that the vendor owes us on any given date the problem is that some of these are list they're all listed as positive numbers and we need to make only some of these negative numbers specifically only the ones that say split we will change into negative numbers and then once we have positive and negative numbers in our money amount column then we can use the simple elementary school formula to get the running balance so I'm going to click in the column right next to the money amount and I'm going to type equal if open parentheses then I'm going to click where it says prepaid inventory which is G23 and I'm going to tell the computer if G23 is equal to quote and you have to spell it exactly prepaid oops excuse me P R E P A I D space inventory that means you're telling the computer if the cell to the left of the money amount has exactly these characters nothing more nothing less comma then you will multiply the money amount times negative one okay comma if not if it if it, if the uh, cell next to the money amount does not equal exactly these characters then just put what's in the cell which is H 23 so see if you can understand this if formula we're saying to the computer if the money amount Oh, excuse me, if the column next to the money amount or the cell next to the money amount is equal to exactly these characters, then multiply the money amount times negative one. But if it's not equal to exactly these characters, just put the original money amount. Hit enter, and as you can see, anything next to the words prepaid inventory becomes 2000. When I fill handle down this formula, Notice the positive numbers, which are item receipts, stay positive, but the payments to the prepaid all become negative. And that will set you up for the running balance. Now, in the column next to that, all you have to do is type in your simple math formula. This cell is equal to the cell above's previous balance plus the money amount in the cell next to you that makes what the current balance is and if you fill handle down you get the running balance so let's make sure we understand what this means on June 15th the vendor owed us two thousand dollars of merchandise because we paid them two thousand on June 16th they delivered four hundred and then they only owed us one thousand six hundred dollars on June 16th on June 18th we paid them another three thousand dollars and therefore on June 18th the vendor owed us four thousand six hundred dollars worth of merchandise but on June 20th they delivered three hundred dollars of that merchandise so on June 20th 
they only owed us 4300 On June 22nd, we paid them $500 more, uh, and then therefore they owed us $4,800 of merchandise. And on June 24th, they only owed us $3,800 in merchandise because on June 24th, they delivered another 1000 So this column shows the running balance matched to the date, and now you have every possible piece of information that you could possibly need for your vendor regarding the dates and how much is owed. You can even make this middle column very small, so you don't have to bother seeing it, and then you can just see this result. And of course, you can highlight this and print out just this area if you do need the running balance.